One North Star, two North Stars. Hey y'all, welcome back to Doug's Cars. I have incredible news. I have finally been handed the keys to the Eldorado Twin Star, which is built by Mosler back in the year 2000. Uh, it looks kind of like a regular Eldorado, but there's something weird going on right in here, right? Look at that duct. There's a NACA duct and a radiator. Why? Because they actually added 18 inches to the length of this car and put a second North Star V8 in the back. That's why there's a grill back here. So this has two North Star engines, the regular one in the front, which by the way, is the 275 horsepower version in the base Eldorado. So the front base Eldorado, 275 horsepower. The back engine is from the Eldorado Touring Coupe, which is the 300 horsepower model. So it has two engines, two transaxles, but the engines don't even have the same power, which is crazy. So this whole rear end, this whole thing is the front engine and trans transaxle flopped around and stuffed in here. And then they locked the steering so that there's no issue with the steering coming loose. And although four wheel steering would have been cool, but can you imagine this thing has two engines with different power ratings? And it, I mean, <laughs> this must've been the most ridiculous conversation at a bar over a bunch of drinks and then scrawled on a napkin. Like who comes up with this stuff except for freaking Mosler? What a crazy car this is. I have been staring at this at my buddy's car warehouse for the last two years, trying to get the keys. It's not his, it's owned by someone else. And finally today, as I'm about to move to Florida, I get the keys to this. So I'm gonna take a, we're gonna do a tour of this because you're never gonna see one of these. They only made five. You're never gonna see another one. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna show the front rear engine, rear engine, interior, and then we're taking this thing out on the road because I have been given the keys to it, which I've said nine times now, because I am overwhelmed at how awesome and crazy and ridiculous and stupid and fantastic. And I mean, why? But because they did, we get to experience it. Only on Ducks cars. <laughs> Front. Look, a North Star V8. This hood struts may not hold this up, but I mean, you can see, mm, doesn't smell too bad. You can see why replacing the head gaskets on these is such an issue because you can access the front here, no problem. But the back of the engine is way back there. And you've got the coils on top and you've got a strut brace and everything. And while these engines actually made a ton of power for their time, they were very prone to head gasket issues because of the head studs they used were very short and they would pull out. But uh, you can actually retrofit these with better head studs. Um, this one, you know, it's not been done, um, but it's also not been a daily driver because who would daily drive this? <laughs> I mean, it would be fun to do for a while. Um, it is 575 horsepower. Let's check out the rear. Here's the rear. So this is the, the regular trunk deck lid, pops up on its own with those springs. And here you can see with all the crazy componentry here for the radiator and fuses and everything, here's the second motor. Uh, you can just make out the Cadillac crest. You can see it's facing forward, like the one in the front. There's, there's the steering rack right down there, which is locked off, and the exhaust that goes right there, and anti-roll bar and everything, because again, this is, this, is the, this is the front clip of an Eldorado Touring Coupe in the back of a regular Eldorado. I mean, just look at all of the, the, the power antenna goes into this box here. Like, <laughs> like look at that, that's, that's the antenna right there, and it runs down into there. <laughs> and I guess the motor's down inside that housing. <laughs> inside that aluminum box that's been welded on. Another strut brace, actually that's, yeah, that's aluminum. That's definitely aluminum. Um, this is just, this is just amazing. Um, and there's a charcoal canister and yeah, silicone hose. Wow, for the cooling system. What? <laughs> what is that back in there? Dynamat, oh wow, you can just make out the Dynamat way back in there. That's pretty sweet. Just like any Cadillac, this has power deck lid close. Except it's not a trunk, it's a hood. All right, y'all, let's get inside because there's some cool stuff going on in here too. Now, at first glance, looks like a regular late 90s, early 2000s Cadillac. You've got the regular caddy gauges up here, climate control over here, 
trip computer information, lights, GM cruise control stock, tape deck, shifter, and then you look over like that looks a little weird because there's a gas door button and that's like a, that's the power trunk release out of the glove box. And then wait, wait, what, what, what's this? What, there's a whole other gauge cluster, <laughs> a whole other air conditioning system and trip computer. But yeah, it, this cluster is actually for the rear engine, of course. Um, <laughs> the, when you, when you fire this baby up, let's go ahead and uh, just crank that over. Uh, you can see this all lights up. Oh, train. Okay, the train has passed. Look, this all, you know, it says change trans fluid. It's got the different miles on the back, 66,055, which of course is hard to read because it's LED. Then the front, which is 59,570. But of course it was taken from another vehicle and it's bound to have different miles on it because, you know, that's the way it is. But it, it just, it's got its own, no, this display is not showing the outside temperature like this one is. Man, it's crazy how it flashes on this. But uh, again, it doesn't need to because that climate control is not necessary. Other than that, there's really nothing to tell you that there's anything different about this car. Regular back seat, uh, you know, regular panels and everything. They did, like I say, extend it by 18 inches, but other than all of a sudden no glove box, more gauges, and these two little buttons down here, there's nothing else to let you know that this car has two V8 engines, which effectively makes it a V16. <laughs> and I've never driven a V16, but again, I've also never driven a car with two V8s or a car with two engines, unless you count a hybrid, um, but uh, two gasoline engines. I, I'm just so humbled and blown away that I've been able to, I'm going to be able to drive this car and, and even just bring it to y'all because it's been in the back of that warehouse in the dark, even taking pictures of it. I've been able to post some over the last year or two, like to Twitter and, and Instagram and people have just been like, you've got to do this car. And believe me, I know, and I want to, and um, let me go uh, grab my ride along and let's take this for a drive. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be so cool. This little thing right here is where you can mount a garage door opener up in there and it's got a little pin on it. And when you push it, it pushes your garage door opener and opens your garage door. So we can't drive this without starting it. And there's a procedure for that too. So let's go ahead and, uh, so first one is this, Huh. That's the first motor. Now, how do you start the second one? Because you cannot, no, you cannot drive this car with just the front motor. It won't work. Oh yeah, that's this little button right down here. And, and notice that gauge cluster is now working. Um, yeah, two engines. All right, let's get you all uh, set here on the windshield and take this thing for a ride. Oh, safety sir, I'll put my seatbelt on. All right, shifting into drive. Where's the button on this? How do you shift and drive? Oh, that's weird. Signature? Yeah, I don't know. There's like something in there, but... Oh, you just have to pull up really hard, I guess. Yep. Okay, in I'm in drive. <laughs> I'm, I'm driving two V8s. It's 575 horsepower in two motors. And it's it's loud. I mean, it's, very loud. it's got a... That exhaust back there is, oh, service engine soothing light. Dang. The soothing, oh, and there's one over there. Oh, yeah. So you driver and passenger soothing amber glows to keep you warm in the winter. <laughs> so at the moment, this is, this is, just sounds like a noisy Cadillac. I, I, don't, I don't feel anything what different. What is that? Uh, that's one of those um, fleet vehicle, MDI fleet vehicles. I've never seen one of those two just now. Oh no, they, they've sold this for a while. Oh. So I'm gonna go out onto this uh, four lane out here and. We'll take it around the block and hopefully I can at least get it up to, you know, cruising speed. Uh, I can't put the windows up because it's peeling the tint off and I was told not to touch those. Uh, he said, check the brakes. Yeah, I mean, I'm used to driving a giant Land Rover, so the brakes are not bad to me. But uh, this is a very heavy car because keep in mind, you've got two right. full transaxles. I'm going this way. Um, now, they are aluminum engines, of course, but uh, uh, okay, let's have some fun. All right, let's see this guy. I don't want to blow the head gasket, so that's so cool. That's so crazy. <laughs> you said you wouldn't be giggling, but uh, that's, that's, that's pretty good. I mean, wow. The two tachometers that, watching those. That was like hilarious. a quarter throttle. Like, again, I don't want to blow the head gaskets on this thing. Oh, because, you should have seen the last time he took off on it. Oh, I'm sure. Well, 
but it's not my car. You know, yeah, I, I don't want to destroy someone else's pride and joy. Uh, you, you know, they made less than ten of these, so like, you know, it is easy to get parts because, of course, all other North Stars are already in the junkyard. Right. But uh, I'm um, actually working on it. Smell something? Maybe, maybe burning a little bit. Double Cadillacs. <laughs> Two Cadillacs are burning. <laughs> I can't believe I'm driving this thing. This is crazy and amazing, and uh, and nobody coming. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is awesome. It doesn't feel any different to drive. You have no idea that you're controlling two drivetrains. It's not like push-pull or anything. You don't feel anything different. It drives just like you would expect a Cadillac to drive, except it's faster and way noisier. Um, but that's not a bad thing. Like, oh, service ride control is now flashing in the screen. Service brake fluid is fluid. Yeah, the brake fluid is on this one too. I think there's change trans fluid, but it doesn't tell you which one to change. Traction disabled. Traction disabled, okay. <laughs> this thing is awesome. <laughs> I tried to film, you know, loyal viewers, the LED screens on here, but it's hard to see because on the camera yeah, they, they just, they just blink. They but I did, I did get that. Yeah, I mean, that's just the way the camera films it. But, but yeah, so it's got this very 1990s digital dash readout, way precursor to, you know. Oh, wow. Uh, that, that's a that's like little, little rumbly poo back there. Uh, Anyway, yeah, so it's it's got the dot matrix display that uh, that tells you, and it's just flashing all these error messages. Now that may be just the way this car is because everything's disconnected or reconnected or done. Like I said, someone was at a bar, had a napkin, had a lot to drink, and decided that this was a great idea. And hey, Mosler, I, I, I know you've had an amazing life. I got to drive the Consolier uh, earlier this year, which was also cool, the Chrysler engine, on-road race car. I think the guy ran for like Senate in Connecticut and lives in the Bahamas or St. Thomas or somewhere now. Thank you so much for making this car because even though I don't get to go 100 miles an hour in it because it, don't try that at home kids, uh, I'm driving this car that I've looked at for, for years. I remember reading about it in Motor Trend like 20 years ago. Uh, this guy's turning, which means I can floor it again. Yeah. Or, well, uh, well yeah. not, not flooring it because there's four head gaskets that can blow in this thing. One, two in front, moment. one, two in the back at any moment. White smoke out the back. <laughs> the second engine. Uh, no. Oh my. But the second engine is more powerful. That's the 300 horse in the back. The 275 is up front. Really? Yes. That's the way they built these. The, the, this is a regular Eldorado, and the second powertrain is from the ETC, the Touring Coupe, which was the 300 oh. horse, but like the STS was the Seville. And so, yeah, why would they? Do, why wouldn't they make them both the same engine? Like that's why. If anybody knows the answer to that, please let me know in the comments below because that's just like why. It obviously works, and like I like I said, it feels totally seamless. Whoa! Whoa. Uh oh, nice. uh oh! All right, I got to fly. Little, the, the last time I drove on this route, making a video, there was a, an Amazon truck there. But this guy, these people just buy the thing has plenty of passing power yeah. with 575 Cadillac horsepower. <laughs> the Amazon guy is probably like, "What? Those went past me? Like, <laughs> Did I just hear two North Stars?" <laughs> Or one and a half? Yeah, yeah, one and a half North Stars? Yeah, if, if you lose a blank of cylinders, you still have 12. Like, I mean... Fair. <laughs> if you lose one engine, you still have eight cylinders. Oh, this you're, is... You're, they're, you're always going to get home in this car. This this is... Uh, well, no. <laughs> no, it's got two North Star engines. But, okay. Which really were excellent motors, except for that one fatal flaw. If they had... I think they fixed them in later generation they North did. Star yeah. after 2000. But this one definitely has that issue. Uh, you know, like it, it's been well documented, and pretty much every uh, major YouTuber has has had one of these as a joke in an Elante or something. Which I would also love to have a, an Elante sometime, just for fun. Why not? They're so cheap because no one wants to fix them. But this man, <laughs> oh, this is just fantastic. Oh, that, the, the exhaust is worth it. I have no idea how much gas this thing. That gas tank is showing a quarter. This one's showing a half. I'm sure there's only one gas tank. I'm sure it's the, it's the factory gas tank is where they're gonna add another one. There's no room for it, but no long distance. No, 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 long distance <laughs> yeah, but if, if you're using car. two, well, it says range 193 miles here on the trip computer, but it also doesn't know there's another engine attached because it has its own computer. It's sucking down and that one says 141 or 145 now. It just jumped up because I'm cruising along. But I've got one more chance coming up here when I turn back onto the street where the warehouse is to to give it some the beans, and I'm going to, and. <laughs> the, the poor guy who's letting me drive this was standing out front when we drove away, and he'll probably hear us coming, but um, I, I just got to thank him so much uh, for, for letting me take this out. I, I really, 
have enjoyed every second of this and I hope that you have too because um, you're not gonna see another one of these and no one else has done one of these on YouTube that I've found um, so while uh, you know Doug DeMiro has his quirks and features and I have nooks and crannies um, <laughs> this oh Oh man, all right, well, let me get this little Lexus go by and then uh, then we'll open it up here a little bit. These guys standing around this, this Nissan Titan are gonna get a treat. <laughs> they all probably were like, what? what? Does that sound like two North Star V8s, both of which are imploding? <laughs> uh, imploding. Yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, oh man, my oh actually my, gotta clean my ride is over, but uh, man, that, wow, that was good. I was I'm, not expecting I'm, that. I'm so glad I got to do that. And then, you know, he said be careful of the brakes, but they're fine, uh, just because it's a heavy vehicle. Uh, all right, let me do my. Let me, if I can get this in park, I can. It's it's the button has no it doesn't detent like you would think with like a thumb button or something. There's it's like pressure sensitive or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's in park now, and I can go ahead and turn both off at the same time. <laughs> Two engines. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying the, the luxury of multiple engines. <laughs> I really hope that y'all have enjoyed this video. I certainly loved making it and now even if none of y'all watch it i have that historical reference to go back to and say i drove one of the twin stars the mosler twin stars a double engine cadillac freaking eldorado how awesome is that and you know you don't even see these eldorados anymore mainly because the engines all blew up but <laughs> to see to see a double engine one going down the road with those crazy naca ducks and the intakes on the back and that amazing exhaust it's just wonderful. It really is. And the fact that you have to drive it on both engines. This is not an environmentally friendly car. And that's what makes it awesome. And I am so, so thankful that I got to drive this. I really hope you all have enjoyed this. Um, <laughs> I'm still grinning. This is still crazy to me that I got to drive this thing. And so weird. So thanks, y'all, so much for watching. I am currently moving to Florida, so there's going to be a whole bunch of new stuff coming. This is actually the last video I'll be filming in, in Virginia before I move. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> but I had to do this before I leave. I, I absolutely had to. It was my last chance. It's like my last day here, and I stopped everything I was doing with my move to come here and drive this craziness. <laughs> so, please hit subscribe. All kinds of new wonders coming your way shortly, and I just appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thanks so much for watching my videos. Have a great day, and now you can tell your friends you watched a twin-engine Cadillac with a great exhaust note, V16. <laughs> y'all have a good day. Thanks for watching.